parcel. Let's get inside and open it. So, as you can see from the intro, we have just been delivered a box. It's about 15 kilograms of goodies. So it's a surprise mystery box I've brought from one of the subscribers. So if you are watching Lewis, thank you so much. Um, the deal was incredible. Too good not to take upon. So I'm not gonna tell you how much we paid for it, but he's done me a good deal. I've done him a good deal. And yeah, so without further ado, smash that like button, subscribe, and I hope you do enjoy this type of video. An unboxing a random mystery box. It's gotta be worth, it's gotta be worth 50 likes, surely. So without further ado, cue the intro. So this box is absolutely massive, to be honest. Um, it weighs an absolute ton. And uh, together, we are gonna open it up with each other. And oh my God, guys, we have packed an Epson XP4 1000 printer. No, we haven't. There's obviously goodies inside. So let's just rip it open and together. I should keep this packaging actually and use it as a, as a box for myself. So yeah, it's very hard to do this one-handed. Not sure how good the video quality is going to be on this video, but hey, it's all about the contents inside this box. So together, we're going to sit through and uh, yeah, I'll let you know how much we can make off each item. So we have one knife, a can of Coke and a box full of goodies. So again, I'm not going to let you know, guys, what um, price we paid for the box, but I will let you know what we can make on each item, uh, hopefully anyway. There might be some good stuff in here. I don't have a clue. I know a few stuff, hence why I brought the box in the first place. But uh, Lewis, again, you know, this is the third box I've bought off you now. And I'm really, really happy with the stuff you've put for me. Let's just change hands over here and drop the knife. OMG. Onto the glass table. Let's hope the missus didn't hear that because she'll probably uh, kill me. This is probably the cackiest, cack-handed way of cutting into a box. But hey... I never said I was good at cutting the box. And look, it is literally filled to the brim. What on earth have we got here, boys? I'm excited. Let's get into it. Guys, looking at the box that's opened. Um, yeah, um, there's some orange stuff, some blue stuff, and some black stuff, and some little TY teddy bears so far. Ain't got a clue. But hey, let's crack on with it. So let's start with these TY teddy bears. There is absolutely tons of them this whole bag is literally full of ty mcdonald's pocket teddy bears uh they go anywhere between two pound fifty and five pound each per which is really really good so we've got safe but well, easy maths 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65, 70, 75, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 140, 150, and all done at £165 sold. So yeah, we've got 160 odd pounds, well, at a push i'd say anywhere between 80 to 160 pound they are going for about yeah like i said two pound 50 plus postage or five pound free postage uh so yeah really i have no idea how we're going to sell these but hey result look at all these they're just loads Woohoo! yeah cracking start with them teddy bears pulled out three bits of clothing so let's go through that we have this fresh culture black rain cat old jacket it's got the fresh culture print on the back which is really cool and then it's got the fresh culture logo on the heart of the thingy nice black nice size large it's got a nice red strip down that side and a white strip down this side of the zip really nice jacket to be fair size large might have to keep it for myself uh, i know ricky would probably keep it for himself it's pretty bad actually to be fair that's the front and that is the back that is wicked i quite like that myself to be fair 
We then got a pair of Puma, brand new with tags, regular fit, size medium, uh, sort of shorts, nice cotton shorts, really good for like lounging around the house with, um, playing tennis, playing football, whatever you want to do with them to be honest. But yeah, again, might keep, nah, probably won't keep that. Might keep these because they're funky. They're funky orange, again, Puma, brand new with tags. Again, size medium, uh, regular fit, Really cool lounge uh, jogging shorts, really, really cool. I've just seen some technological stuff. So we got this Hawaii Band 3E, brand new. Unless that's been resealed, I'm not too sure. I'll have to double check, but the box itself inside that has a security tag that looks like it's been open actually. But yeah, Hawaii Band 3E. Smart watch phone thing, smart watch with wrist watch thing. I have no idea. I'm not sure on the value, probably what 30, maybe 40 quid. The shorts, you're probably getting 10 pound each. The jacket, you're gonna get 20 quid, hopefully, all being well. Uh, then we're moving on slowly but surely with this. Oh my days, what on earth is this? An easy tablet. What on earth is that? I have never seen one of these before. Easy Tab 971 with a European a charger and the screen tablet itself is in here. Used but in really nice condition. I have no idea. What is one of them worth? 50 quid, 80 quid, 100 pound? Again, I do not know. I didn't even expect this to be in there. Not in that good condition anyway. Box is nice. Lewis, mate, you've smashed it again, buddy. Well, the next lot of items are absolutely random. We've got a bag within a bag. Uh, oh God knows how much you can get for these, probably about eight to 10 pound, I think. And then obviously this is the purple version outside of its bag. So it's just a little light, little raincoat bag. Uh, I guess it's waterproof by the material. It's a tiny bag, little backpack. Put it on your shoulder like this, over your cross your back. And yeah, but that, forms into that once it's uh, been folded back in. Really cool item. Again, just needs a bit of a wipe, but apart from that, condition is great. Uh, probably get about seven to 10 pound on these. Uh, these are completely random, just uh, passport covers. Um, <laughs> they look pretty cool to be fair. Pink one, a black one, and a blue one. I don't know, a, a sort of a novelty thing. Five pound each three quid each, I really don't know. Let me know in the comment section below if any of you guys have sold any of these before. Wonga. I have, again, I have no idea. But they're cool, I like the blue one. I miss is quite a sight, the pink one. So I might just end up selling the black one, to be fair, to be fair. But again, Lewis, thank you so much. We're not even halfway through the box yet. There's so much stuff in there, it's unbelievable. Wow, just wow, Lewis. This is incredible. This is what I brought the, uh, the the main bulk of the thing for, and that is this this four and a half kilos of loose Lego. Uh, I know Lego sells really well over Christmas. It sells you all year round, to be honest. But yeah, we have four and a half kilos worth of this stuff. Maybe not four and a half kilos now because I've dropped half on the floor. But you're looking at about 15 to 18 pound a kilo. So yeah, the, the bulk of the money is there. And the rest is just, I'm just shocked. Lewis, I know I've, I've said it four or five times already, but if you guys don't follow Lewis, you know, Lewis always comments on my videos. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing down here. I'm picking up loose Lego that I've dropped on the floor. But yeah, Lewis, again, thank you so much. He, he, you know, he helps a lot of us YouTubers out, a lot of us resellers out, and he's got some really cool stuff. Again, what is this? A Puma face mask. I might keep that one for myself. Uh, I'm an Arsenal fan. They used to be sponsored by Puma. So yeah, I might keep that for myself, but I was supposed to sell that. Again, it's probably another three to five pounds just in that, to be fair, to be fair. We then got, what on earth is this? Another Huawei Band 3E, which again is incredible. I don't know, I don't know, I have no idea. If you guys know what how much these are worth, let me know, please, please. Obviously, I'm not sure if I would have known by now, but yeah, I'd say probably 
30 to 50 pounds. But that's two of them, which is just ridiculous. And I think there's another one. Another one. My shirt is well creased. Bloody hell, man. There's another one. That doesn't sound too good, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. Let's open this one up together. And look at that. There it is, all in its glory. Wrapped in its box. A few scratches on it. But again, I knew this was coming. But I didn't know what I've just seen in there now, which is incredible. We've got a bulk ton of clothes again. Uh, but yeah, again, I wish I could tell you guys how much I did pay for this. But I just don't think it's fair on, uh, on Lewis. But he does me a good deal. I bought three big boxes of him this year. So yeah, always keep your contacts happy. And again, Lewis, thank you. We've still got the clothes to go through, so let's get them out and have a look. Got a few bits of clothing out. We got this uh, waist 24, leg 22, 5'11", really skinny Levi jeans. Well, not jeans, they're like, well, yeah, it's a skirt, obviously. But yeah, 5'11", Levi skirt, really cool. Probably get about 17 to 20 pound for that, actually. Uh, we've got these good for nothing bags, which are brand new and without tags. This one feels like it's got something in it. So let's have a little butchers. <laughs> a 4,000 4, milliamp Goodman's uh, power bank. Happy days. That's probably 10 pound in itself. The bags, you'll probably look at about 10 to 12 pound on eBay. Good for nothing, sort of bum bags, fanny packs, whatever you want to call them. I don't know if they're called fanny packs. I just call them fanny packs because I've always thought they were. Uh, a lot of female clothes now to finish off. Uh, yes, so we have H&M brand new with tags, little, uh, what size is this, yeah, six to eight, little dress, that's quite cute. Uh, we then have, what is this, just a plain New York, New York, New Look Men's t-shirt, brand new with tags, which is cool. We then got a, just a plain black, very t-shirt, obviously kids, um, not sure how much I'll get for that. <laughs> Probably about two to five pound. We then got this River Island uh, little uh, jogging bottoms, maybe? Size 11 to 12 pink thingies. Uh, I'm not sure, I've not really delved in uh, women's, oh, kids' clothing before. So we'll have to uh, go from there. We then got this little guest uh, play suit as well. Polka dot play suit. Uh, might, might be a cardigan, maybe. I'm not too sure what that is, to be fair. But yeah, size, what's that say? Size 6X7, so probably a year seven, uh, seven year old to six year old. We then got two, uh, oh, another thing in here. A random Panasonic remote <laughs> and a Citron watch, which is clearly working. It's like a band bracelet watch. Uh, good brand that is that's probably about 20 quid there uh, i'm not sure where this is come from it looks like an audio system remote yes it is uh probably get about 10 pound on that and then we've got a random jasper conran belt again five to ten pound on that and then he's chucked in some watch batteries for me as well which is cool uh the sony as well which is really cool I'm not sure if I sell them, I might keep them for myself. But yeah, if you were to resell them, probably five pounds each. And then to finish off, we've got a couple of school play suits. For, uh, obviously schools, well, coming to a close, but obviously the new year's just started. But yeah, this is a year eight year old. We've got two of them. And then to finish off, we've got a nice trespass uh, coat. Nice shell suit outside with a fleece inside and it's a nice duffel finish. Really cool, rock rose this is called. But yeah, you're probably looking at about 10 pound for that as well. Again, I have not dabbled in the kids side of clothing, reselling clothing, but hey, this is a good start for me to really, you know, hopefully learn some stuff about what sells well in the kids section of eBay. But yeah, that was the box. Again, Lewis, thank you. And let's just, let's just have a little moment together. <laughs> so, that was the surprise mystery box that a subscriber has sent me. 
obviously I brought the box for a good price. He's done me a good deal. And I just want to say again, thank you, Lewis, for everything. I'm sure Lewis will be watching this. If you do watch this, Lewis, then leave a comment in the section below so people can get in contact with you because you've always got some good deals and some really nice products. So yeah, that was the mystery box. I'm happy with the Lego. The Lego looks to be really good. And all that clothing and all them random watches and random stuff, I'm just really, really happy. I'm really, you know, it, since doing this YouTube, I've made some really cool uh, contacts and really good friends and really nice people. The, the, the reselling community is full of wicked people. So make sure you do go and follow a lot of them. They do know their stuff. We all know little bits about everything. There's obviously stuff that we are learning and there's stuff that we are trying to teach you guys as well. So yeah, the YouTube reselling community is on fire and uh, everyone is wicked. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been your boy Kieran from Rummage Around. Happy reselling, happy life and on to the next one. So guys, thanks for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe, ding dong that bell so you get notified when I do upload next. And thank you guys for all the support. Honestly, it means the world to me. We are nearly on 2000, well, we're nowhere near 2000 subscribers. We're nearly on 1500 subscribers. So if we can get there by the end of the month, that would be amazing. And yeah, go and subscribe to everybody else and uh, hopefully you'll learn some stuff as well. Hopefully I learn, hopefully I teach you guys some stuff. Let me know in the comment section below if I've ever taught you anything. Probably not because, hey, I'm just useless. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace out. Boom. Just want to say a massive thank you for watching the video and the massive support you've shown me throughout my, well, reselling career. So if you did enjoy that video, please smash that like button and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys, and I'll see you soon.